What the heck I have to dose if you want to go to the high-end SPS? Let me explain the Balling Light system and how to dose for many, many years and give a really nice coloration. The next video in English language, so I hope you will enjoy it. What we talk about today is that many people asking us what the heck I have to dose in all these range of product what you have at Fonda Marine. It's very simple, and that I want to use the video today to explain you exactly how is the way to dose to get a really nice aquarium, proper corals and vibrant corals, and a really balanced system. Everything starts with the primary care system. What is produced at Fonda Marine is the Balling Light Set. And the Balling Light Set is one of the oldest primary care system in Europe and one of the market leaders of people who wants to keep SPS cores, very nice, healthy, ripened cores. They usually choose the Balling Light Set. It is a two part? No, it's also not a three part. It's something a little bit more specific and it's one of the only system in the world where you can individualize the need of your aquarium, especially on your corals. Because you can change the dosing and you can change your liquids and that what you prepare with the Balling Light Sets individually for you. Let me explain the Balling Light System and how to dose and follow after you have this primary care system. We have a calcium source, magnesium source and a carbonate source. These salts you put in a canister, usually it's 1.25 gallons, and you fill up with four pounds of the calcium and around one pound with the alkalinity, like most systems do. But now comes the difference, and the difference are these three different type of macro elements and trace elements. This one, you put in a specific relation into your canister. You have the trace elements, the macro elements, vitamins, and organic compounds together with your calcium and alkalinity. This is the primary care system. The individualization now happens due to the way that the ICP test shows you the different levels. On one it's strontium, second it's molybdenum and third is iodine. Then you add less or more of this element into your canister. The amount depends on your need on your aquarium. That's it. You create your own stock solution, high concentrations, with the right amount of elements, vitamins and organic compounds, which is exactly made for your aquarium based on the ICP test. You did not need any calculation due to the ICP and the lab database. It shows you exactly how much you have to dose. You can dose that when the canister is half full or a quarter or whatever. You only need to go to the calculator, which you find on the website on phonomory.de you add the amount of gallons in your aquarium and then the system shows you automatically how much the dose of each separate element into the each separate canisters. After you did that and after a few weeks you will get a really good stable water chemistry in your aquarium. I know you guys want to play around a little bit to get a better grow, a better coloration, more vibrant, more healthy colors. So what are the options now? It's very simple. The first option is to use a standard trace element solution which is based on organic compounds which makes it more suitable and better for the use of the cores and creating these nice uh, very deep colors. The name for us they are color elements. They are a little bit based for red coloration, blue colorations and the green colorations. They are based on the same system like the traces but concludes only the vitamins, organic compounds and the trace elements and not macro elements and micro elements which are in the primary care system. If you be a more professional reefer, if you want to go to the high-end SPS, creating the five, six different colors on every acropora, or two, three, depending on the species, you can also work with the single elements, which you can also find in our range. The ICP and the lab database tells you exactly how much to use of every single element together with the standard elements which is in the primary care. The good thing is you have your individual solution, you have a fixed ratio of dosing which you never change and then at the end you play around with the top. 
So 90% is made by the primary care and the last 10% you can play around with premixed trace elements or if you want to go to a professional level then you use the single elements. So that's one, two or maybe three. That's the way to go to those with our elements and with our trace elements in a usual standard aquarium. The exact recipes and the way for the different type of aquariums which we have nowadays from NPS, from US style, from Bali mixed reef or from SPS tanks from outer reef that you can find on faunamarine.de under the section biotope and there the recipes explain you exactly which water level we want to have exactly the recipes which product you have to dose to which way and this helps you to get a really nice vibrant reef without any big issues and you control it over a regular ICP once a month every two months it's enough for that and with the information of the ICP you adjust the dosing of the trace elements everything comes into the container so you only need three heads of a dosing pump you don't need 20 of them because you can everything put in your standard container and you can adjust the amount of elements and trace elements and micro elements and vitamins in every canister all the time whenever you want and whenever you need it so it's always individualized for your system but that's not all let me say you have a cube anemone two clown fishes so it's way too much to starting now with all these elements and two parts and whatever a nice aquarium a smaller aquarium for the kids maybe for you for quarantine station whatever you buy a good salt you make a regular water change when you need a little bit some of elements or some nutrients for the course then you can use a very old product which is developed also more than 25 years ago it was the first on the market based on organic trace elements together with that food which contains the amino acids and vitamins some organic compounds and here the trace elements based on organic compounds they too they can handle an aquarium for many many years and give a really nice coloration and soft corals and anemones and small fish tanks and nano tanks where you don't need a two-part or three-part or a huge primary care system water change this too and the tank runs well sometimes there are people even in europe who says yeah kalk water kalk wasser calcium reactors are the better methods to run a reef tank instead of using salts like two part, three part or the bubbling light system. Here in Europe, the most calcium reactors and kalkwasser, they go down over the years. The most people using now the bubbling light set, the way how to dose it separately and individualization brings them the way better results in coloration and grow of the cords. So uh, they don't need to have too much water treatment. They don't need that much way of adsorbers and other health things because healthy growing cords taking the most nutrients out of the system and so you don't need all the other stuff which saves you also money at the end but some of them still working with kalkwasser or with calcium reactors today the material in the kalk reactors they are never the natural cover gravel it's their rocks calcium carbonate rocks mostly and they don't contain the right trace elements like strontium and fluorine and iodine whatever is necessary for the tank for these people we're creating the multi-elements, like the name say, it's multi-element A and B. It's based mostly on the strontium and the calcium ray. And here we have all, which is for the alkalinity and for the iodine and halogens. These two together, together with the calcium reactors, giving them quite near the same results as you will be get with the bubbling light and the individual trace element solution you can get in your system. That is what is to dose, step by step, starting with the primary care, till everything runs well and then play around with colors and grow and wherever you want to go, where's your goal in your reef tank, you can choose between two, three different things. The high amount of products means not that you have to use them all. It's a very efficient system because you have the pure salts, you have the pure trace elements and macro elements, everything is in these three bottles. You mix them all together and a standard container of them for an uh, aquarium is about 250 gallons, lasts you for four to six weeks. So that's it. It's no more work and you will see you will have the same fun like all the European reefers which use that since many many years and you will have the same success with them. Look in our group, we have a fundamental reef group in Facebook, look at Instagram, there you can see tons of nice occurrence using that type of system and I'm very happy to answer all your support questions which you can send to us under support at fundamarine.de and on the links which you show at the end of the video. Many thanks guys and have a nice day, bye bye. <laughs>